Hey guys, what's up? It's Beth from FeelBikeFiction.com and today I'm going to be doing the Rip It or Ship It book tag. So I wasn't actually tagged, but I was binge watching Bangy Bang's videos and I saw he did this tag about like a month ago or so um, and it was really fun and then I noticed um, some other people doing the tag and I just had a lot of fun watching those videos so I thought, you know what, I was going to be able to try too because fun. So basically in the Rip It or Ship It book tag you put book characters names into a jar or bowl or whatever and you pull two out and you decide whether or not you like them together as a couple. Whether you rip it like R.I.P. you hate that just that, no. Or you ship it you love that or you just really like them together. The original video which is by Emma Books uh, I think she separated them by girls and guys but on most of the other videos I watched they just threw them all in together and I found that more fun so <laughs> I'm just going to throw them all in one thing. This is my measuring cup full of names but it has a handle so I thought that worked. Okay anyway so let's get started. So I have Aragorn of Lord of the Rings fame and Audrey Turner from um, Sophie Kinsella's book, Finding Audrey, it's her latest release. I just finished reading that. Huh. Aragorn and Audrey Turner. Mm. Well, first of all, Aragorn is like super old compared to Audrey. Well, he's not super old, but he's like, she's 14. Uh, hmm. I think I'm gonna have to rip this one, not only because of like the ginormous age difference, but also because Aragorn is just like super adventurous and he's always doing these crazy things. And not to say that Audrey can't be adventurous, but I think um, her idea of adventures are a little more tame than his. Um, so I think, basically I just can't get over the age difference thing. So I rip this. Next. So next we have Lawrence Selden. If you don't know, Lawrence Selden is the main guy character in The House of Mirth by Edith Wharton. I wrote my thesis on that book, so yeah. And Jane Eyre. That's interesting too. From classics. <laughs> I don't know. That's tough because Jane is really, um, well she's religious. She also has a lot of integrity and she's strong, a really strong moral compass. And I don't necessarily think that Lawrence Selden does. Not that he's a bad guy. But I just think that they're, I think that they would clash when it comes to that. Not that I think Rochester is really all that great, no offense if you love him, but uh, I think I prefer canon to this, to these, yeah, so I'm gonna have to rip that one too. Rebecca Bloomwood from Shopaholic by Sophie Kinsella and Lizzie Bennett by, from Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Huh, that's, that's interesting. Lizzie, she's not necessarily super serious, but um, she's not really silly, and I think um, that Becky Bloomwood is kind of more like her sisters, like Lydia and Kitty, and I think she would get on better with them than she would with Lizzie. But at the same time, I think they would kind of balance each other out. You know what? I think that I'm going to ship this. I don't necessarily think they would last long term, but I think it would be really interesting to see them together. So next up we have Sirius Black from Harry Potter and Samwise Gamgee from Lord of the Rings. Oh man. You know what I think immediately, immediately I'm going to ship this. Um, Samwise Gamgee is just like a super awesome friend and he is just always there for you know his friends. Sirius Black, you know he's kind of like that too in a less like innocent kind of way. I would love to see them together just having a conversation but I think that yeah I think I'm gonna ship this. Adam Wilde from the If I Stay Duology by Gail Foreman and Sauron from Lord of the Rings. Okay. Huh. You know what? Considering Sauron is basically just like this giant fiery eyeball, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna have to rip this one but it did give me a little chuckle. Okay, so Augustus Waters from The Fallen Lark Stars by John Green and Gandalf from Lord of the Rings. I'm seeing like a lot of Lord of the Rings people coming out right here. Huh. Honestly, I think that Gus would really just get on Gandalf's nerves. <laughs> Gandalf really doesn't suffer fools and I'm not saying that Gus is a fool, but honestly when I read The Fallen Lark Stars I found him kind of annoying and pretentious. No offense to those who really like Fault in our stars. Anyway, I'm gonna have to rip this because I don't think Gandalf would put up with them. Also, 
Gandalf is like super old. We have Billum Derider from Just One Day by Gail Foreman. And we have Amy Dunn from, <laughs> from Gone Girl. Oh, she's nuts. Oh, I can totally see Amy Amy being a cougar and going after Villain de Ryder. I can totally actually see that. Um, at the same time though, she's super cray. Part of me wants to ship this, but at the same time, at the same time, I just, I, I don't think that I could do that to poor Willem. You know, for, for, for poor Willem's sake, I'm gonna rip this one, but giggles. I'm gonna lull a little bit about it. <laughs> Next up, we got Theodore Finch from All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven and Pony Boy from, <laughs> from The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton. Okay. You know what? I can see this. I can totally see this. Um, Pony Boy, I mean, he's kind of, they're both kind of outsiders. That's funny. <laughs> the outsiders. And they both have like an artistic side to them. They're both pretty loyal people. They're both really interesting characters. And you know, I think that they would have a really good bond. And I would, I would read fan fiction with these two in it. Yeah, I'm gonna ship this. Pony Boy and Theodore Finch shipped. All right, next up we have Hermione Granger from Harry Potter and Gimli the Door from Lord Hermione and Gimli. Hmm. Gimli I find is super hilarious. I love the character Gimli, especially when you know he's off being total bros with Legolas. I find that hilarious. Hermione, we all know Hermione is pretty great. Um, hmm. You know what, I'm gonna have to ship this. The Fetch from The Queen of the Tearling and Harry Potter from Harry Potter. Huh. We don't actually really know that much about the Fetch even now after book two. He wasn't really in that in book two that much, which I was a little disappointed about. But I think that like the mystery and the intrigue surrounding the Fetch would really, you know, get Harry's juices going because he's like all into mysteries and finding out stuff and just like getting into trouble and I think the fetch I think him and the fetch would have some really great adventures together honestly if we that's my cat if we ignore the age difference again um yeah I ship this I definitely ship this Georgia Nicholson from the Georgia Nicholson series by Louise Renison I grew up on this, loved it. And Claire Randall Frazier from Outlander. Oh. So Georgia Nicholson is a lot like Becky Bloomwood in that she is hilarious, ridiculous, completely foolish, but you know, she she is actually pretty smart and witty. Um, I don't think I would say that about Becky Bloomwood actually, but that's okay. But Claire Frazier. Hmm. Huh. You know, I think I'm gonna have to say that I prefer canon for both of these. I think, first of all, George Nicholson is 14. Again, Claire Fraser, depending on which book you're in, is like at least 28. Um, also, I don't think that Claire would necessarily put up with George's ridiculousness. Um, not to say that she would be like mean to her or anything. I think that she would just kind of like humor her. I don't think that they would have any sort of lasting connection. Uh, so I'm gonna have to rip this, but it can be a pretty good wall. Baldmort, of course. And Mia Hall from the If I Stayed Well and She by Gail Foreman. Huh, you know what? I think that Mia playing the cello might soothe Baldmort's, you know, dark heart and might bring him some sort of peace. So maybe, you know, her music and stuff would be able to lull out the, you know, human in Voldemort. I think that if anybody can, she can, because cello music is just like, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and ship this one, I think. I dropped it on my cat and he meowed at me. <laughs> okay, so I dropped Mr. Darcy on my cat and Damon Salvatore. Huh. 
Mr. Darcy and Damon Salvatore. I have to rip this. I prefer canon to this. Also, I think that they would butt heads. I mean, I know Mr. Darcy is like the strong silent type, but he is, you know, pretty strong. And while he is willing to change for love, I don't think that he would be able to change enough to be able to suit, you know, be suitable with Damon. I think Damon is pretty headstrong. And while Lizzie is also pretty headstrong, I, I, I just think her headstrongness and her other characteristics go better with Mr. Darcy than Damon and his proclivities. So we've got Ron Weasley from Harry Potter and Ginny Weasley from Harry Potter. Ugh. Really ripped, obviously. Obviously, ugh. I've got Arwen from Lord of the Rings and Pip from Great Expectations. Okay, I really did not like Pip when I read Great Expectations. Honestly, I didn't even really like Great Expectations that much. I didn't really like many of the characters in Great Expectations, but especially Pip. I found him incredibly self-centered and just found it so frustrating. And I mean, I know he is supposed to be self-centered, but he was just so self-centered that I was so frustrated all the time while reading this. And Arwen is just like amazing. She's an amazing, beautiful, strong lady. And her and Aragorn are where it's at. And I mean, you know, if her and Pip got together, then maybe I could have Aragorn and then I would be okay with that. But that's the only scenario I see this working in. She is not self-involved like Pip is. And, you know, maybe that would counterbalance his ridiculous selfishness. But... Honestly, I don't think he would even notice because he would be too concerned with what was going on in his own little world. So, rip. Rip. Cats, am I right? I know who at least one of them is. Yep. We've got... Actually, no, I, know, I totally know who this is now. <laughs> I can totally... <laughs> Hazel Grace Lancaster from The Fault in Our Stars. And I'm pretty sure I know who this next one is too, yeah. And Jamie Fraser from Olander Binks. I found both her and Gus to be a little too much for me. Um, and I, I really like Jamie Fraser. Um, I'm actually not a huge fan of Claire Randall. I would much rather Jamie Fraser be with me because like who doesn't want their own personal Jamie Fraser? I'm right. <laughs> but I don't think him and Hazel would work. I don't, I don't ship this. I'm not 100% sure why. I just, I feel like it just would not work out. I, I do not ship this. Jamie and Beth, now that I ship. Okay guys, so that is it for the Rip It or Ship It book tag. If you haven't done this tag yet and you want to, consider yourself tagged. It is lots of fun. <laughs> It's really entertaining to see who you pull out of there. So, um, yeah, so that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe. You can also find me at my blog on fueledbyfiction.com. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram at fueledbyfiction. And I am on Goodreads as well. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you again sometime soon. Bye! Bye.